Now, in other news, though many world powers are clearly cracking down on Iranian proxies like Hamas and Hezbollah, they're still advancing diplomatic talks with Iran itself. Officials in Vienna saying that a new JCPOA nuclear deal is closer than ever to being signed. Here with more is Dr. Iran Lerman, former Deputy Director of Foreign Policy and International Affairs at the National Security Council and Vice President of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security. Dr. Lerman, thank you so much for being with us. Now, what, what kinks are Good still afternoon. left yeah. to work out, uh, if any, in the deal? Well, um, I would venture a guess. Of course, everything is kept under very close wraps. Even uh, 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 Mr. Nephew, who left, uh, slammed the door when he left, didn't actually tell us what was wrong uh, from his point of view that led him to resign from the American team. So everything is still kept uh, secret. but. I would venture to guess that the problem remains the nature of guarantees that Iran keeps demanding from the United States that there will be no um, uh, retreat again from the agreement. Uh, and that would, of course, require this to be in the nature of a treaty. And the Biden administration has no chance in the world of getting a treaty um, ratified by 67 senators in today's uh, Senate, not even 50. In well, all likelihood, there will be Democrats like uh, Menendez from New Jersey who would oppose right. uh, the proposed deal. Well, so so, so if, um, if Congress, there if must, Congress votes well, this down... There's another is... way to go around this problem. Maybe right. the Russians can guarantee for Iran that uh, its equipment will be stored in Russia and then reprovided if the U.S. Uh, reimposes sanctions. Well, so that, I was going to say, but I mean, if the United States, if the United the States Congress situation. doesn't ratify, if the United States Congress doesn't ratify this deal, then isn't it a moot point? It sounds like, it sounds like Iran would just back out of the deal entirely, wouldn't they? Well, um, the U.S. Congress, the U.S. Senate, the uh, House doesn't have much to do with treaties, but the uh, Senate will not ratify it, period. Therefore, there must be another way, perhaps, for, to guarantee mm. or to offer the Iranians some kind of, uh, of uh, assurances. And maybe the Russians can play a role in that. But that, of course, is a function of the Ukrainian situation, which is uh, hanging fire. So I think there's, this is a major kink still out there. Um, and uh, it could still blow everything up. Because what the Iranians keep demanding is something that the, uh, the Biden administration cannot provide. Beyond that, of course, we are all under the impression that uh, this is an agreement of less for less and, uh, and that the Iranian uh, um, program would be left uh, with a much shorter break breakthrough time than it had uh, after 2015. What? And this is all quite troubling and requires Israel to retain its freedom of action. What do you think, do you think that it's possible that Iran knows that what they're asking from the United States will never happen and therefore they're, you know, they're asking, they're making these demands because either they do get them, which is great, or they don't, and in which case they've wasted a ton of time of, from the West and, and they've been advancing their program anyway. Is that, is, is that what's happening or do you think that, that, that they're I, I think they really in this with good problem. faith? Well, first of all, good faith and the Iranian regime don't sit in the same sentence. Uh, this is a, a revolutionary regime uh, with uh, ambitions uh, well beyond the borders and capacities of Iran. And the, the nuclear project is one of its leverages. And anyone who trusts them to actually uh, give, it, give up on it without uh, very forceful action I think is deluding uh, himself or herself in the case of some former negotiators. However, um, they are eager to get rid of the sanctions because the situation, the economic situation in Iran is getting very serious and there are rumblings within the Iranian public and the regime is worried. So they need some kind of relief. And so they're maneuvering to see if there's a, some kind of, uh, of a device that would give them an indirect guarantee. And I think this is what the situation really is all about at this stage. All right, Dr. Iran Lerman, thank you so, so much for joining us again today. You're welcome.
ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.